Just this week, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the Iranian regime was weeks away from obtaining enough material to build a nuclear weapon. Victoria Coates is a senior fellow at the Center for Security Policy. She was also one of the longest serving members on President Trump's national security team. And she joins us now live on National Report. Victoria, thanks for being with us this morning. Are you concerned about the Biden team's approach to Iran so far, especially signaling that they do want to rejoin the nuclear deal? Thank you, Emma, for having me on. Um, and yes, indeed, I think all of us who have worked on the Iran file over the last four years are extremely concerned about some of these comments. While I'm pleased that Secretary Blinken recognizes the military dimension of Iran's nuclear program, at the same time, this kind of alarmist report should not be used as an excuse to go back into the defunct, failed uh, nuclear deal that President Obama struck with Tehran in 2015. Uh, and I think we all need to be very, very cautious about using this as an excuse, as I said, to go back to one of their favorite policies. Well, it doesn't stop with Iran. China is also a big topic of concern. White House Press Secretary, she's been asked about it many times. Here was one of her latest responses. Listen. Not to talk to him at this time, because you're talking about speaking to allies and, and making other calls first. Is, uh, have they requested a, a call? I don't have anything more for you. I think I don't appreciate the like putting words in my mouth. That wasn't what my effort was. What I was conveying is what our strategy is here from the United States, which is to work with our partners and allies and determine what the right time is. Of course, the relationship with China is going to be multi-layered. We'll deal with climate. We'll deal with uh, we'll deal with the economy. We'll deal with uh, security, uh, and that is a, of course a priority to President Biden. Victoria, in your opinion, what do you think will be the biggest challenge when it comes to the Biden administration and their U.S.-China relations? Well, I definitely think China has to be at the top of any administration's list at this point as the paramount challenge of our generation. And I would very much hope that would be bipartisan. I don't think climate would be the top of my list of things that I would be concerned about with the PRC, given their genocide against the Uyghurs, the oppression in Hong Kong the basic economic warfare that they are waging against us globally. Uh, but at least I, I, I'm hopeful that it's it's on their radar. Uh, from my perspective, as someone who works a great deal in the Middle East, you know, that's why we have to stay engaged in the Middle East. The PRC is getting its tentacles into all of the critical systems of our key allies in the region. We have to work vi vigilantly to counter that. Uh, and their partnership with Iran is one of the key areas of concern. After some delay yesterday, we saw the White House classify the situation in Myanmar as a coup. How do you think this could impact the relationship with China? Well, I think, I mean, this this was something that regrettably was, was easily predictable. The Obama administration had claimed a great diplomatic victory in their uh, engagement with Burma. And uh, unfortunately, what they had was a lot of kind of window dressing of a very uh, aggressive military uh, dictatorship. And uh, the, the, uh, they waited about two weeks after the Biden administration was in, in place to, to enact a coup and oust the ostensibly democratic reformist government. Uh, which shows that China really doesn't have a lot of respect for this administration, is very, very willing to start taking some aggressive actions, and the, the new administration will be judged by their response. I think calling it a coup is, is perfectly appropriate. Uh, that obviously comes with some ramifications uh, with, the, with the Congress, and so that's something they'll have to deal with. But this is, this is not an encouraging sign. Okay, definitely some challenges uh, for the Biden administration when it comes to foreign policy. We'll see how they respond. Victoria Coates joining us live on the program. Victoria, thank you so much. Emma, thank you.